Hey everyone, this is Nathan Allen for Poets and Quants, uh, continuing on with our online MBA backstage event and really excited to have two guests for this panel from the University of Florida's online MBA program. We have Naz Aranguch, who is the Director of Admissions for that program, and then we have Carly Eskew, who is the Director of Business Career Services. Um, thanks for joining. Correct me if those titles were wrong. Um, but let's just start with um, Nas. Can you just give us a general introduction of your school, uh, the mission's values, location, although that doesn't uh, matter as much with the online MBA, but where you all are physically located and then uh, the reputation of the program. Perfect. Thank you, Nathan. Now, um, for all of you listening, uh, so we here at the Warrington College of Business offer an online MBA program. In fact, a little historical context, we've been delivering this program since 1999. So we were a pioneer in establishing an online program. Now, some kind of key things to keep in mind and maybe unique features that maybe you aren't aware of is that with our online MBA program, we actually offer two formats. We offer a one-year and a two-year program. So our one-year program is actually designed for anybody who already has a business degree within the last seven years. So they're able to accelerate their MBA experience down to 16 months from start to finish. And then our two-year online MBA program, um, that program is open to any undergraduate major. So you don't ever have to have seen uh, any prior business courses to be eligible uh, for that online two-year program. Um, and, and the two-year program is 48 credit hours from start to finish and 24 months to complete. Another kind of key thing that I think is uh, important to note about our programs, both the one-year and the two-year program is that they both have actually three intakes a year. So we start fall, spring, and summer. So talk about a little bit of flexibility there. Um, and another uh, key factor is that with our online program, we highly value this networking facet and component, right? So, so much of an MBA program is about networking, getting to know your classmates and your peers and the faculty and the campus. And so one of kind of, I'll, I'll tie it into our core values is, is this notion of coming to the swamp um, and, and at least being able to experience being a gator firsthand. Um, and so with our online students, although it's a highly flexible format and an asynchronous format, meaning you watch all of your lectures pre-recorded, there is one campus orientation requirement. So students do come to Gainesville uh, for two days at the beginning of the program. They get to feel like a Huff graduate student here at the Warrington College of Business. They get to experience what it's like to be in the swamp. They get to meet their classmates, their faculty members, and really just get the opportunity to connect with one another and start building those relationships that they will continue to, to foster over the next 16 or 24 months. I guess if you're going to go to the swamp, it's good to be a gator in the swamp as opposed to something else. We hope <laughs> so. We the hope safest so. way to do it. <laughs> so, Naz, I'm going to stick with you now. Um, and I'm wondering if you can tell us just a little bit more about uh, the intricacies and details of uh, the program, uh, maybe both the programs. Uh, so, typical class size, uh, you already spoke a little bit about the flexibility and the pacings, so maybe a little bit more about that. Um, group work versus individual, um, those sorts of things. Yeah, absolutely. So the structure um, of our online MBA program is, is once again, I, I reiterate this, um, that this is a program designed for that busy working professional mind. So we have curated a curriculum um, with the notion that these individuals are working 40, 50, 60, you stop me when I'm done, hours plus a week, right? And so, so these individuals um, are very busy. They're, they're juggling multiple facets of life, family life, social life, obviously professional lives, academic lives, right? And so, so with our online program, whether you're in a one-year or two-year program, the average weekly time can is going to be about 15 to 20 hours a week. So, so it was designed for that busy professional in mind. Now, another thing that I'll also um, touch up on is the fact that so much as like I was just talking about the importance of coming to campus and, and meeting your classmates is that 
you do so much in groups and teams with this program. I would say that about 50% of the deliverables are going to be team-based. So it's really important that even though this is an asynchronous format, um, that you're watching your lectures at your own pace and convenience, that you still have heavy touch with your immediate classmates and with your faculty members. And so um, when you have the opportunity to, to do weekly calls or check-ins with your immediate team members, you're able to really help um, one another as you're working through team projects, talk about building the camaraderie is really something that's paramount to our program. Um, and, and so also, I like to kind of point out that, that our program we don't offer any concentrations or specializations. In fact, um, the, the overarching focus is in management and leadership. It's building our students up to be C-suite ready, right? Giving them the communication, the critical thinking, the analytical perspective that's really required um, to, to understand a business A to Z. And so when we're talking about, you know, this, this notion of cohort based, and, and I'll side note, what is a cohort? An average class size uh, for our one-year students, it's about 45 individuals. And for our two-year students, it's about 65 students. So you're going to come in with this group of, let's say, 44 new best friends, right? And you're going to take the courses uh, pre, you know, well, I should say prescribed from start to finish all together. So you're going to take the same curriculum from start to finish. So it's a cohort-based model, but that really helps to, to ensure that that camaraderie is built, that the teamwork is there, that you know who you're sharing this MBA experience with. Um, and, you know, I think that at the end of the day, there's a lot to be said for if you know your classmates really well, there's that accountability component that really helps um, strengthen that process. And I'll also kind of put a pitch here that, that we have a very high graduation and retention rate. You know, for most online MBA programs, you know, we're going to see that our graduation and retention rate of being over 93% is huge. And why is that? It's because you have that accountability, the camaraderie, the team dynamic that is so important to making this a positive experience. So you're not going to be in a massive online, you know, program that you don't know your classmates, that you don't know your faculty members. These are people that you're going to have met here in the swamp and you're going to, to continue to connect with over the span of that 20, sorry, 24 or 16 months. And hopefully you're going to come back to the swamp at graduation and celebrate all together this huge accomplishment. Great. Thanks. Quick follow-up. How much interaction is there between the cohorts? That is an excellent question. So um, you interact most closely with your immediate cohort, right? These will be kind of your, your go-to people, right? Over the span of the term, the program. But we do a lot of interco networking um, opportunities. In fact, um, we offer professional development above and beyond, you know, as a co-curricular component to our MBA program. We offer a lot of ways to engage beyond the classroom, such as uh, one-week residential courses here in Gainesville, global immersion experiences where you can spend a week abroad. We, in fact, are a part of the Washington campus um, where students can learn more about business policy or health admin policy. And so these are all facets of which you can take a course, an experiential learning course, with somebody other than who you share your day-to-day Day cohort with. Um, but above and beyond that, we do tons of networking events. Obviously, we do a lot around football season, right? So we do a lot of tailgates. Um, but then we have a speaker series where we encourage students to log on, learn more uh, from our current students and our alums. Um, so, so we do kind of a hybrid of in-person and virtual networking opportunities. And, and at any given time, just so you know, we have about a uh, thousand MBA students enrolled, right? So that's a thousand students immediately in your network um, of other enrolled MBAs. And then, you know, you add that to our alumni network that's now over 12,000, right? That is a lot of Gators to, to connect with. And so there's a lot of, I would say, um, encouraged networking, right? A lot of happy hours that we, you know, like to encourage our students to also have more casual networking opportunities with. And then another huge benefit that I, I like to talk about um, when, it, when we're talking about networking is it's important to network with your immediate classmates. It's also important to network with the larger MBA community. But 
there are over half a million gators globally. And, and so it's really, you know, leveraging that opportunity to connect with other gators, maybe geographically, if you, you know, are living somewhere out of state. So in fact, not too long ago, I was in Chicago where I hung out with our Windy City Gator Club, and we encouraged all of our current students and alums to come and connect with us there. So, so there's no shortage of opportunities to connect. Great, thanks. We'll, uh, we'll switch to Carly now and let's talk a little bit about career development. So we're, we've been hitting a little bit on, you know, networking within the program. Um, what's your office doing to just kind of create some networking opportunities, uh, maybe with people already working uh, professionally, mentorship opportunities, any other career development opportunities you want to highlight? Yeah, thanks for asking that, Nathan. I think um, one of the other things that sets our online MBA program apart from some other schools is just how proactive we are in serving our online student population. Uh, we recognize that um, different from full-time MBAs, our online students are balancing uh, you know, full-time careers, families, and things of that nature. Uh, but for those students who really are dedicated to finding a new role at a new company or you know, seek to do something different from what they're doing now, uh, we offer some pretty intensive one-on-one -on -one onboarding with our coaches, um, both at the very beginning of their program. So we meet individually as a career services office one-on-one -on -one, uh, with all the students in our incoming cohorts within the first three months. And we do that uh, really intentionally and, and we steward that. And so um, I think for anyone researching how career services supports the different online programs out there, I think that's a differentiating factor. Uh, we want to get to know all of our students within the career services office, um, even within that, or sorry, within that initial touch point, even if they know they're going to be staying with their company or um, you know, are largely pursuing the degree as a professional development goal. Um, we still want to know who they are so that we can facilitate um, some of those relationships and be really intentional about connecting maybe folks across program when they're targeting positions at firms where we have either current or, or former online MBA students. Um, but our, our intake, our onboarding process rather, uh, for those students who are really interested in um, making a change is actually pretty similar to our full-time program in the event or in the sense that we have an initial discussion kind of focused on developing that career search strategy, uh, followed by a, a pretty intensive resume overhaul uh, discussion, and then um, a really um, constructive um, mock interview as we think about getting ready for some of the national career fairs. I'm proud to say that we do every year bring some online students with our full-time students to the national career fairs, kind of depending on where they are, we make sure that they're as ready as the students um, are who are living here in Gainesville. And so we do recognize that they have unique needs from the full-time students. So whereas our full-time students are mostly, you know, they've left their jobs and they really have to opt out, if you will, of, of the career services that are provided. Uh, we do provide a way for the online students to engage as rigorously and, and opt into that, depending on what their goals are. Great. I'm going to pause for just a second because we've had a few people join just to say that we've got about a million questions, but if you want to throw some in, um, go for it into the chat box and, and we'll uh, address those as they come up. Um, but sticking with Carly, uh, whenever you're talking about the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching, can you just share a little bit more about who those coaches are, who the experts are for mentorship, who, who those people might be? Um, and then how that one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring uh, progresses throughout the program. Yeah, another great question. Thanks, Nathan. Um, so this is another, I think, differentiating factor uh, for Warrington, which is our graduate career coaches, as we call them, all come from the private sector. And we think that that's really important because um, they've kind of gone out and recruited as graduate students, gone for graduate level roles. So in some cases, in the case of our current um, coaches, actually have come back to recruit graduate level talent on campus. And so they've literally sat on the other side of the table before. And so um, that helps us make sure that the coaches that are working with our students are really credible because in the case of our two online coaches right now, both of them actually have master's degrees from Warrington. And so they know exactly what it took to be successful and have gone out and work in talent related talent acquisition and, and even consulting and uh, general management roles. And so um, we are very intentional about sourcing our coaches from roles like that. Um, 
I'll talk a little bit about how, I think you asked how the one-on-one coaching progresses. And so um, we have an online MBA coach dedicated to our one-year program and then an online MBA coach dedicated to our two-year program. Um, Both of those coaches um, meet one-on-one with their cohorts within that first three months. Um, but the two, the difference between the one and two year format is that the two years, by the time you're in your second year in the two year program, that's when you're really intensively onboarding, um, with your coach. I think we'll touch on this a little bit more later, uh, but in the one year format, we do have some online, um, career related content that serves as a prerequisite to that, um, structured onboarding that I mentioned earlier. Um, But once that's completed in that one year, uh, typically actually around this time, um, students start interfacing really closely with the coach uh, to get engaged um, and and up to speed by the time that, you know, traditional MBA recruiting comes around in the fall. Now, let me say that online students technically could recruit for a a new role at any point, doesn't have to follow the traditional fall recruitment cycle that you see sometimes with full-time MBAs. And so our coaches are always available uh, for some of those, you know, ad hoc salary negotiation discussions or, or or quick mock interviews, even if they're sort of off cycle from the onboarding rhythm um, that we've created. So in the one year, you're kind of jumping right in and you kind of hopefully are able to articulate um, what it is on a career basis that you're going after. So we can support you in that. And in, in the two-year program, you'll have that first uh, one-on-one discussion with the two-year online MBA coach. You'll get some, um, actually the, the online content is separated into two years for you. So you can do some of those exploratory networking conversations in the first year. And in that second year, that's really when you're jumping in um, to that rigorous strategy discussion, resume, interview, and then any other ad hoc or sort of on-demand um, coaching that you may need. I will say another thing that helps us, I think, serve online students is that um, my coaching team will set evening and weekend hours as, as well as lunchtime and, bef- and bef- sorry and before work hours to make sure that um, students are not disrupting their work day too often um, to get access to the coaches. Great, thanks. And for students who are looking to, and you've kind of hit around this, maybe you want to go into a little bit more detail, but for students who are um, focused on finding a specific role, or they have a company in mind that they want to work for, or there might be just maybe not something as specific, but a, a general career path that they're, um, that they're looking for, uh, what sort of advice do you have for students who might go to Warrington or, or other online MBA programs about, about that journey? Thank you. Hopefully that will come to Warrington though. <laughs> um, no, I, so, you know, I'll, I'll say the obvious one first, just so we um, don't forget that that's, you know, having conversations with folks who are in your target career. And the good thing about the Gator Nation is as Nas indicated, it's, it's massive. And so we, um, in many cases are able to connect students, incoming students with folks who are in a similar type of a role. So that's sort of the obvious statement. Um, But I I think second to that is just teaching students how to be really good researchers of possible paths. And so as you think about um, what LinkedIn affords us now, I mean, you know, even 10 years ago, we, we couldn't do a lot of research and articulate, okay, what, what are the, some of the traditional paths to that, you know, finance manager position, or what are some um, recurring themes that I see uh, for individuals who want to go work for this consulting firm? And so um, doing your due diligence and paying attention to the types of roles that um, professionals team, uh, tend to get prior to that role is really helpful because it helps um, us by the time we are working with the student, once they've done that research, it helps us provide some advice on, look, is, is the next role that dream role for you? Or based on your research, does it seem like there needs to be an intermediate step either within your current company or another company? And, and the more students, and, and going back to your you know, advice for everyone, the more you're able to articulate um, what you want to do and what your research is showing you about paths to get there, the better your coach either at Warrington or another school is going to be able to help you. Um, And then the sooner you're going to be able to kind of put yourself out there for some of those opportunities and put in some, some applications and hopefully get some interviews. Does that answer your question, Nathan? Yeah, that's great. Thank you for that. Uh, Nas, let's, let's switch back to you. What do you think are um, some of the highlights that current students or recently graduated students would say um, are about the program at at Florida? 
Yeah, and I kind of touched up on this already, but but we have so many opportunities beyond just the curriculum. Of course, you know, a huge selling point of the Warrington College of Business is the fact that we have our, our world-renowned faculty. We have a huge network, right? Uh, we just talk, continue to talk about the Gator Nation, how we are really everywhere. But I think, you know, kind of going above and beyond that, just this notion that, that you know, the students, they get to come and experience this in, in more of that, that close-knit cohort mentality. So, so you really get to build these relationships. And, and that's something that more often than not, when when, when people enter the program, they think they're entering into an MBA program that's purely designed to help them, you know, um, fine tune their business acumen. But what they realize at graduation is that that was a given. But what they didn't expect was to really come away with this with a phenomenal experience, not only of building a network of peers, but also just understanding themselves better and, and having the confidence to be, um, you know, the, the best possible leaders that they can be. And, and one of the things that I'll also add to, to Carly's um, component about the fact that, that using LinkedIn and other me mechanisms to research what you also want to do, there's a phenomenal opportunity to understand what roles or functional areas are all about when you're in a classroom with 45 other individuals that are all working and thriving and, and have a good handle on what they do day to day. So you can really pick their brain about well, what does your, your company do, you know, do? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? And so, so I would say the added value and benefit of even doing a professional or online program is that you have individuals that, that are coming from, you know, over 33 states. We have students that are living abroad. You have so so many different companies, multinational companies represented in our classrooms. So you really get a good understanding of, of what that network and, and what these industries or functional areas are all about. But going back to the question, I think it just really boils down to building those relationships and those networks. And I think that as a program, one of our hallmarks is that, that we, like I said, I started off by saying we, we entered this market back in 1999. It's not like we've stopped and said, hey, look, we, we continue to, to do well in the rankings and, and our reputation is good, right? That's something we have to continuously work on. So as a program, we are constantly making the investments in our students because we recognize they're investing their time and energy Energy and, and you know futures into us. So so for us as a program, it's knowing that we're constantly developing students and, and adjusting our curriculum and co-curricular opportunities to really maximize this experience. It's all about that ROI, right? And so we really want to maximize that above and beyond what we can offer in a classroom. So that goes to, to the notion that I talked about earlier: global immersion experiences, spending a one week abroad where you learn more about six to eight different companies, what they do, and you can network with them. And typically there's um, some strategy consulting project that is associated with those global trips. You know, being able to go to Washington, D.C. and learn more about business policy. Coming to Gainesville, because maybe you, you, you know, were so enthralled with Gainesville when you came to uh, orientation that you wanted to spend more time here in the swamp and you want to take um, an, an additional negotiations class or an advanced customer relation analysis course. Being able to do that are all things that I think really make this experience that much more meaningful. And at the end of the day, you're only going to do an MBA once. So it's important, even in an online program, to really maximize those opportunities. Great. Thanks. Carly, um, what sort of advice do you have for, for applicants and um, how to choose the correct program for them uh, based on their career aspirations? Yeah, it's a really, it's a good question. So I, I would be remiss not to articulate that the one and two year um, formats do have different eligibility um, sort of standards um, given, you know, what you'd study, what you've studied in undergrad and how long ago that was. But putting that aside, um, the two year format, I think, is really helpful for folks who maybe know that they want to do something different but they're not sure what it is yet. And so it, it allows them to have that initial one-on-one -on -one with their coach, um, interact with some of the deliverables and recommendations that we have for students um, in that um, sort of mindset, talk to more individuals within their cohort, as Nas has alluded to, and just do a little bit more um, soul and LinkedIn and cohort searching <laughs> um, to try to figure out you know, what are a couple of, of possible uh, roles or, or paths that seem interesting post um, MBA? And so in that second year, you're really being onboarded really closely by um, one of our online MBA coaches to go out and, and pursue that objective. 
Um, and then, you know, what you will likely predict, I'm about to say the, the one year format is uh, on a career basis probably better suited for folks who say, I, I know what I want to do. I've known what I want to do for a time. I'm having trouble getting there. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty clear on what I want my next step to be. And I'm, I'm ready to um, really put in some intense classroom and, um, you know, career focused work uh, to get there. And so, you know, I, I, while sometimes, you know, there are some, you know, pretty directed students in the two-year program or um, folks who are, are a little bit less sure in the one-year program, I'd say on average, we like for our folks who are um, open to a lot of different paths or exploring a lot of different paths in the two-year and, and those who are, are pretty sure about what they want to do in the one-year. And we have, and we've designated our, our coaching team um, to reflect that, right? So we have a, a coach that works specifically with two-year students and a coach that works specifically with one-year online MBA students. Great. Thanks. And uh, we've got about an extra minute or two. So now I'm going to just throw in a question for just a, a semi quick answer. Um, you know, jumping back, when somebody's considering the online MBA versus maybe an executive MBA or, uh, you know, maybe uh, even a normal full time or a part time MBA, um, what are some things they should consider um, in making that decision? Yeah, I would say really, are they looking to keep their job or quit their job? So that would first tell me, are they looking to do a full-time experience versus a professional experience? And then if they have, you know, if they say, hey, I want to keep my job, then really what makes most sense for them? You know, is it coming to Gainesville every third weekend? Do they have enough professional experience to qualify for our uh, executive MBA program, which requires eight years of experience? Um, or do they need that higher level of flexibility? The benefit of our online MBA program, Nathan, is it doesn't matter, you know, in fact, which MBA program you choose across our portfolio, all of them lead to the same degree. Nothing on your transcripts or diploma will specify which of our online or which of our MBA programs you pursued. So if it's online, great, you need that extra flexibility, fantastic. But I encourage each and every one of you to reach out to me because both Carly and I, we both sit on both the full-time, you know, and the, the, you know, professional student side of house of the house. So if you have questions, reach out to us, right? We'll be able to guide you as to what format makes most sense for you. Great. Thanks. And speaking of reaching out, what's the best way applicants can get in touch with uh, you and your team? Yeah, I would say just email me or call me directly. So we have a, a great email, easy email address, Florida MBA at warrington.ufl.edu is, is the best way to, to reach out or give me a call. Um, I'm always happy to, to you know talk to anybody and everybody and walk them through which format they think would be best for them. Great. All right. Nas and Carly, thank you very much for your time. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks everyone for listening. And we're going to, we're going to continue on now with uh, the rest of the schools, the on onsta onstage online MBA event with Bodes and Quants. Thanks. Thank you, Nathan. Nathan.